Hello everyone, my name is Nail Raven and welcome to the Xander Zone. In today's episode, will for sure be the final episode of the Springlock series and oh boy, do I have some knowledge to share with you today. We will be covering again who this suit could be as well as if this suit was even ever intended to be solved. We will only bring back candidates that should be brought back, so don't worry, Mini Rena is not appearing here again. Now, before we get into the video, we have a goal of a thousand subscribers before the end of the month. So if you get to hit that like and subscribe button, that would mean so much to me. Share this video with your friends and family as every bit helps. And while you're at it, comment down below your thoughts, disagreements, or theories. Just remember to be calm, kind, and respectful. Now without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, let's bring back our candidates that quote unquote won in the last video and explain why they're here, and then we'll get into the ones that we are bringing back that were eliminated. Our returning candidates first are Circus Pigpatch and a Springlock Crying Child or Charlie. The reason for Circus Pigpatch is because of the evidence we have of a pig character being associated with the fun times at some point based off of this art you can find in FNAF Security Breach on an arcade machine, as well as a story in the FNAF books in which there's a character named Rosie Porkchop that has voice mimicking capabilities and a storage tank which would match up with the fun times really well. The reason for a Springlock Crying Child or a Springlock Charlie is a long one, so I recommend seeing the last video for the full theory, but for long story short, these three heads have been a mystery for a while, and what if William or Henry wanted to bring back their kid but abandoned that project, leaving these behind? Now, for the ones we are bringing back that we originally eliminated. First, we are bringing back Funtime Chica, the reason for me bringing her back is because she is a way better candidate than I thought, and I found some more evidence for her that I haven't seen too many people bring up, if at all. Her face shape matches up, and Chica as a character is known to have issues with her beak or mouth, and the lines on her face match up, and also there's another thing later on in the video that I'm going to bring up. Next one that I'm going to be bringing back is Scrap Baby. And while I never noticed this, but thank you to Jabumbi for this comment on the last video. And also, sorry if I butchered your name. It's weird for me to try to figure out how to say it, but I think it's Jabumbi. But they pointed out that Scrap Baby's lines on her face don't match up to Circus Babies, which can mean that there's another version of Baby out there. Next, I want to bring back the Twisted Ones, and the only reason why is because they are believed by some to be the Nightmares, and if they look like this in the books without their illusion discs, and Nightmare Own is canon, there's a genuine possibility there. The next one is the Jester Suit, and here's why. The Jester Suit is described to be a Springlock suit and can do a lot of things we see a suit do in-game, as well as it could fit the face shape and look as well. Last one I want to bring up is Balloon Boy. Balloon Boy has been associated to be at the beginning of FNAF at times, and associated with the fun times as well. Now other than that, let's get into eliminating. Okay, instead of eliminating, I'm rather going to rank them from worst to best as I think all these are possible, but again, some are better candidates than others, but it doesn't mean the worst candidate here can't be the suit. So let's get the first one out of the way. Springlock Crying Child by far has to be the worst one here as it's a lot of speculation but to me at the time it made a lot of sense so sorry for the matt pat gregory bot uh situation that i had myself recently however i'm not going to be ruling out springlock charlie bot yet next one in line is scrap baby as i do think she is highly possible she doesn't look like the suit nor she's small enough but the fact that another baby suit could exist is interesting also, Pizzeria Simulator was a weird game, you know, design-wise, and I don't really trust the designs from that game at the current moment. Next is the Twisted Ones, and specifically a Marionette Twisted One. As there isn't a lot of evidence for this, I do believe there's a lot going for this candidate. If the Nightmares are supposed to be the Twisted Ones, but were scrapped to become the Nightmares, it'll explain a lot in the story. And if it's a Marionette Twisted One, it could fit the theme and everything very well. Now, we are getting a Circus Pig Patch. I do think this one is so likely, it actually could be, but it was pointed out to me that Pig Patch, odds are, would be way too big and his head may not work with the suit, which makes a lot of sense but the fact we have in-game evidence really pushes this one. Next is Balloon Boy. The reason for this is how he would fit in well with the fun times and has been associated to have been made early in the timeline. The biggest issue for him is his size, but this could be a different suit. Now that we are in the top 3, I just want to say these 3, Pig Patch and Balloon Boy are all interchangeable. I think these are just as likely as one another. Now I want to talk about a Charlie bot. 
the main reason for this as there is a debate that henry actually started the whole fun time thing that abandoned it and if he were to make a spring lock suit it could have been a charlie bot circus baby being one of them and the spring lock suit being another one otherwise the evidence ends there pretty much next is a gesture suit and we know in the books it is a spring lock suit and it matches the suit well and gestures are often associated with big eyes and smiles also what if this is also a charlie bot just throwing that out there but that one's pure speculation Lastly, we have, and you guessed it, it's Funtime Chica. But actually, no, I'm actually gonna straight up eliminate her in exchange for a Chica, not the Funtime Chica. It can't be the Funtime Chica, as this suit would have to be unfinished, and Funtime Chica is gone during the events of this location at Chica's party world. However, my evidence for Funtime Chica is highly likely. The lines add up, so do the eyes, however, the color just does not. I tried to find the true color of this suit the classic FNAF style way by increasing the brightness and contrast on the suit and it becomes an almost faded yellow color so take this one with a huge grain of salt but what if this isn't a funtime chica but rather like a prototype funtime chica that could remove her beak after all chica has been known to remove her beak or even have issues with it and is usually yellow so what if funtime chica was originally planned to be yellow but was scrapped to fit in better with the clown theme it was made into the funtime chica we all know and love and another thing, we know that FNAF's sister location's bunker has existed for a while. So what if the suits have evolved over time and this is just one of those ones that were scrapped after a long time? And well, that's all the candidates ranked in likeliness. And remember, they can all be interchangeable, but the top five in my eyes are really likely. So remember to comment your theories, comments, and disagreements in the comments below. Just remember to keep everything kind, calm, and respectful. Also, I'm going to kind of go on a side tangent, and I didn't want to make this character a contender for this because I don't know if it's a good one or not. I'm leaned in kind of more that it is, but I want you guys to tell me what you guys think before I even say anything about this character. And if you guys do think it's this character, I will definitely go more in depth in kind of like a part five-ish kind of video where we talk specifically about this character because there's a lot to cover. What if it was meant to be a toy chica suit as like a pre-fun time suit that was scrapped and later repurposed to be Toy Chica, whether it be through like refurbishing and just kind of repairing it, or the concept being used by Fazbear Entertainment, which could explain why it wasn't used for what it was meant to be used for. After all, Toy Chica's mouth and eyes match perfectly, and Funtime Chica's lines on her face also match up perfectly. So my idea is either a hybrid of the two, or a Toy Chica spring lock that was later repurposed, refurbished, or the concept was taken to be Toy Chica. Also, if you believe Toy Chica committed the bite of 87, here's more proof for you. Her being a fun time will explain why she would attack someone and why an adult as well. Her programming wouldn't have been finished if she took any from the fun times. Also, I always wondered why Funtime Foxy was the one fun time we got in FNAF World and well, obviously FNAF World and Sis Location are connected. So what if originally it was meant for Mangle to cause the bite of 87 as a result of the fun time programming? but who did it later changed to be Toy Chica, and the spring lock is meant to show us that it was Toy Chica, not Mangle who did, which would explain the suit and its purpose, and why it wasn't used for its intended purpose. It was meant to unalive kids, not adults, and Toy Chica, kind of like esque suit, being this spring lock suit, would also explain why it could be missing a beak as well. It's kind of like a Toy Chica thing, not just a Chica thing, just a Toy Chica thing. Okay, now I've been wondering this since the last part of this video, and it's did Scott ever intend for this suit to be solved, and honestly, my answer is no and yes. The reason for this is that in Docco's Q&A with Scott himself, Docco literally asks about the suit, and Scott chooses not to answer, and I think it's one of two things. It would have either revealed who did the bite of 87, or it's similar to the FNAF 4 box. It was either meant to reveal who did the bite of 87, or what was in the box, and it would have either been Toy Chica for the bite of 87, or a crying child bot for the FNAF 4 box at the time, but I do think the FNAF 4 box has changed. Though I'm leaning more towards Toy Chica's idea. Or what if, since the box has changed, it would have revealed the fun time Toy Chica I was talking about in the last section? Or what if the spring lock suit would have been a crying child bot originally, but was changed to fun time Toy Chica, and thus the box changed? It's speculation, but it's interesting to me. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the issues.
Since this theory is more left for interpretation than flat out saying things, it makes it hard to rank this. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for now. It helps out a lot with the last video and explains some more things. It also readjusts my candidates and helps them out a lot in terms of storytelling. Also, the more I look at it, Chica and Pigpatch are likely as they both have something in common. They would both be Henry's creation, made under William's design. The ultimate collaboration between the man known for making robots and the man known for making a successful business. Okay, I really did like this theory and I enjoyed making a lot of these videos for you all and I also learned a valuable lesson throughout all this which is to double and even triple check your theories and do more research. I've always done a lot of research in these videos but I realized I should do even more than I already do so I can make sure you all get the right story. So thank you all for holding me accountable and let's continue for a better channel and a better community. All right, and this is all that I have for this video for you all. So I just, again, want to say thank you for all the insane amounts of support on the latest videos and everything. Now, I'm recording this on, like, March 23rd, like a few days after my procedure was scheduled. So I don't know how the other videos performed, but I still want to thank everyone for those last videos. It was a lot of fun making all those kinds of videos, from theory videos to gameplay. It's so much fun. I'm going to keep doing more, and I hope we can touch on more games outside of this location in the future, like FNAF 4, FNAF 6 three two all of them i want to get to all of them so yeah next thing that i want to talk about and there's a lot of things i want to talk about in this outro is um a lot of you don't know this i do have indeed have a discord and it's honestly just a place for you just to chat have fun you can post pretty much anything in there you can chat with people you can promote your own twitch your own youtube just please don't at everyone of course um we do have things like meme of the month photo of the month fan art of the month and fnaf art of the month and you can also, you know, share your FNAF art, your FNAF theories, and you can debate about FNAF, you know, theories, whether ones you see out and about or in the server or anything like that. Go right ahead. And it's really cool. It's a fun place. I want to get more people in it. I kind of had to abandon it for a little while because of all the stuff that happened a while ago. But I'm just getting back into, you know, promoting it and all that fun stuff. So, yeah. Um, next, I want to talk about is FNAF 2. Um... The last parts are going to be coming out, but there is another part that is going to be coming out later. It's going to come out randomly. I don't know when. Maybe it'll come out with them. I'm kind of debating on it still, but I'm going to be doing a live stream. But by the time this video comes out, it's already been done of me going through all the challenges that are in FNAF 2 to get the different individual plushies on the table before I attempt 1020 mode and hopefully finish it for you all. So that will be coming out eventually. But again, I also want to thank you all for everyone who was there. Really fun really cool i know it was fun even though i haven't done it yet because i just love streaming with everyone and things like that and lastly i want to thank everyone for holding me accountable for the last theory and just you know sharing their theories their thoughts their disagreements and a lot of you are really kind about it and i was t able to talk to a lot of you about it and some of you even saw my viewpoint and it was really cool i enjoyed talking with you all so much so please do that again in this video just remember to keep it kind calm and respectful but yeah that is all I have for this outro. It's the longest one I've done. So yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please do hit that like and subscribe button as we do have a goal of a thousand subs before the end of the year. While you're at it, comment down below your thoughts, disagreements, anything. Just remember to keep it kind, calm, respectful. And again, while you're at it, make sure to share this video with your friends and families. Every bit helps. And well, without further ado, I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Stay safe and peace out. Our returning candidates, Circus Pig Patch, and a Springlock Crying Char... <laughs>